Wellness Wednesdays, Thirsty Thursdays all kind of coincide. Many of you don't realize that I am a certified juice therapist. So what does that mean? It means that we go through remembering that we are an organism and that if you treat your body like an organism and you truly feed it all the way down to the enzymes and the atoms and the tissues and bones and all of the different systems that we have, endocrine, cardiovascular, the, you know, the, the lymphatic system, you can really heal the body. Is it gonna happen overnight? Absolutely not, right? But we have years and years and years of bad stuff that we've been consuming, that now is the time to start slowly, coming back to getting back to nature. And really what I say is like, we're taking in the nutrients of the plants because we're an organism too. So I, this is my morning setup. Do I do it every day? I'm gonna be honest with you. No, I don't do it every day, but I do try to make sure, and, and, I, and I check off in my habit tracker that at least twice, three times a week. If I could do more, great, but I'm okay with, you know, two to three times a week. We'll make sure that I'm still getting my good nutrients in. Make sure you start your day with a nice warm water, and then I do my juice. Uh, some quick tips, and I'm gonna post in my Instagram a lot more details of what each one is, but I just wanted to quickly introduce you to juicing because then we can start taking it slowly by slowly, and in the comments, ask me, to maybe start making the juices that will actually help you. And it'll help me with the content that you actually want, right? So some quick tips. If you're going to do carrots, right? Carrots are fantastic. Always put them in the juice because they actually like, um, when you look at it molecularly after it's been juiced, juiced, it actually mimics human blood. It's pretty fantastic. So I already cut the greens here, but I always get the carrots with the greens because you wanna juice the greens. There's a lot of nutrients there. So I get the full carrot with the greens. I try to go to my local fruit stand and my juices will change seasonally because I always get what's in season. But some of the tools that you definitely need always have a good scrubber and a good uh, potato peeler because you have to scrub and take off all the dirt and everything from the veggies. So this, always use your carrots with greens. For my ginger, I always get a big piece. I will always chop off like about, I don't know, like a thumb size nib. And I will peel it and then I will, you know, cut big pieces. So you want to peel it that way. Same thing with whatever citrus that you're using. You always want to take the peel off. So here are the peels of my lime. But you want to leave the white, as much white as you can. This is called the pith. And this is what makes your juice nice and frothy. It gives it like a little frothiness. So I like that. Um, same thing, I scrub my beets, but look how enormous my beets are from my farmer's market. So I'm just taking a piece of it. I already have my pieces already on the side, but now I have beets for the rest of the days. Spinach, if you get them full, you can actually do the stems. It's totally okay. My celery sticks, I do the whole thing. If you have the greens, definitely get the greens in. I always add a big batch of parsley. Parsley is so good, especially for cleansing your kidneys. And because you're drinking and you're gonna be drinking a lot of water also, you wanna make sure you have the kidneys really nice and cleansed and moving. I have a lot of mint in my yard, so I always go and grab some mint to give it some sweetness. Your apples. Scrub your apples and I chop them up. I get them ready. The reason why all of mine are really finely chopped, it does take some time. Some people say, oh, I don't have the time. You do have the time. If you make the time for it, you get it done. Uh, it's because I still use an old school Omega juicer. I'll do another video on that. But, um, and it has a small hole. So that's why I do it. I'm not a huge fan of radishes, but my husband loves radishes, but I want the greens. So... For him, for me. This is a his and hers veggie in my house. And if you need to add some sweetness, I always have some dates around. I do them last because they are really gummy. So in the juicer, it'll like gummy up the blade and everything. So I leave that for last. But what will add sweetness to the juice because you have so many greens because, you know, look at my bowl, right? It's a lot. Um, will be the apples. The apples will add some sweetness. The mint adds some sweetness. The carrots and the beets add some sweetness to it. Um, if you're going to do kale, very important. You don't 
do the stems. You got to take the leaves off the stems. The stems are very bitter. So that's why I left these like this so I can show you. I just take it off, discard that. And actually, my juice is ready to go. This is my pretty much my go-to. It's my, my, you know, get my groove back bomb. I can really feel the difference when I'm juicing on a regular basis. Look at this. It's beautiful. This is a huge bowl. It is. But you know what? What people don't realize is um, you need about two to three pounds of fruits and vegetables to be juiced to clearly make about, I would say about two good, uh, maybe 16 to 20 ounces. So like two good eight to 10 ounce glasses. And I will sip it throughout the day. That's what I'll have. And then I'll have a nice dinner on a day like today. I had my water, I had a little bit of coffee. Today is a juicing day. I like to juice on Wednesdays. Um, if I'm going to fast or if I'm going to juice, I kind of like pick, wait, picking Wednesdays because it's a day that can be a consistent routine for me. And I find that it doesn't interfere with like my weekend plans or if I'm going away. And Wednesday's like a nice uh, midpoint, right? For a lot of people, it's hump day, but I don't want to fall into that slump. I'd rather make it a boom, a energized Wednesday, cleanse myself, and then have a nice clean dinner. So that's kind of like my Wednesdays. So Wellness Wednesday, but also Thirsty Thursday, kind of mixing it in. Um, but that's my juice. So whatever kind of juices you'd be interested in finding out about and the properties of why I picked uh, each fruit and vegetable, I can totally make small mini videos for each one. So this way you can start playing around with what works for you. I would love to get engaged in this conversation. It's something that's really passionate to my heart. I just turned 51. Um, I've been juicing for a long time and I continue, I plan on continuing for the rest of my life. It's, it's what feeds my soul and feeds my body. So talk to you soon. I hope you enjoyed this quickie and let's keep this conversation going. Comment here and let me know. Bye.